What's going on guys? So obviously we're down here in the basement and you know what we're gonna be talking about here because you see the title, you see the thumbnail. We got a bed cover for the truck. So obviously no bed cover on the truck, but I'm doing this for a couple different reasons. One, to uh, keep the bed liner looking good, looking nice and black, which I need to clean it out because it's got a little dirt and a little mud and a little pine straw, but that, as well as being able to keep stuff back here if I ever need to and keep it safe from being wet and stuff. And I actually kind of like the look, some of y'all might not, but um, I kind of like the look of having the, the uh, little bed cover. And I really do like, this one's supposed to be on the inside of the bed, so you still have this full thing. So if you ever need to like walk by it or, you know, whatever, you still have that, as well as it's supposed to be just a little bit higher than this. So it's not gonna be some big gaudy thing. And my dad had one of these on his Tundra and he's had it for like, I don't even know, maybe 10 years and it still works. It doesn't look that great, but it still works. I mean, it's a little beat up from being in the sun for the last 10 years and stuff, but still works really good. And it's just been awesome. So this thing was on sale for $229, regular $279. I don't know if that was just a Christmas special or if they just always have it on sale, but I went ahead and picked it up and uh, pretty excited. So. So I'm not really wanting to do the install on video and whatnot because it's just not something very interesting. So I'll put a link in the description to the place where I got it or a video that they had showing how to install it. Looks very easy just to clip on. You don't have to drill anything. You don't have to mess up anything on the truck. Completely removable if you want to. So I'll put a link to that. If you want to see how this is installed, go over, check out that video after this video. I've seen it on a couple different trucks similar to mine and I really did like it. So I'm gonna get to installing it. I'll catch up with y'all after. All right, so here's the first look. Obviously, we'll get it out of the garage and look at it better, but first look at it. So, it fits pretty dang good. Took a little while to get adjusted, but once I did, it's got that real nice tight, it's not lumpy or nothing. Got multiple adjustments up at the front, like right here for the tension of it. You can play with that depending on your bed length and whatnot. Um, yeah, this thing's freaking sweet. What do y'all think? Initial impression. What do you think? It's, I think it looks pretty pretty good. It's got a nice texture to it. It feels pretty solid. I gotta go back and tighten everything down. Adjusting it was a little uh, not difficult or anything. You just obviously had to go back and adjust it to get everything right so where it would lock with the tailgate. But everything fits good. It's nice and low, which I really do like. I didn't want it sticking up real tall or anything. It is. I like it. I dig it. So it also came with this tailgate sealer. It's just, you know, some foam with some tape. I don't think that's really necessary. I'm not gonna put it on because it doesn't look like it's really gonna do anything. I mean, I guess maybe some water could get through here, but if y'all know the truck, you know the truck's got a little bit of squat to it. So any water that would potentially get in there, it's not like it's gonna run to the front, like it was a stock truck, it's gonna just run out. So I don't think any water would get in there, period. If you have a stock truck, maybe you would want to put this on there. Um, it came with some stuff to keep it looking good, which I haven't read the direction or anything, but we'll definitely use that to keep it looking good. And randomly, it came with this little like safety hammer thing. Um, this apparently will break your glass and bust a window, which I'm, I don't know why, but I'm kind of scared just holding it. And then this, I guess maybe will cut your seatbelt off. So I guess people will keep this like in the center console or something in case you flip your truck or, I don't know, whatever you need to use this. I don't, I think I'm gonna get rid of that because I don't know, I just feel like I'm about to destroy something. I guess when I pull it out tomorrow, I'll get some more video of it. All right guys, so here's an outside view. Now let me know what you think. I freaking like it. I think it looks pretty sweet. I don't know, just it's different look. I don't see a lot of trucks, I guess, with a bed cover, so. I mean, I guess a lot of trucks do have it, but I guess not usually ones that are kind of modified or whatever. So I'm digging it. I think it looks cool. It lines up pretty perfect with the stickers. So it's not like blocking them or anything. Looks pretty sweet from the back. Everything looks nice and even. I'm digging it. I'm glad. I was a little worried. Now it's going to train. But, uh, y'all let me know what you think. If 
you got one of these, you're gonna get one. I'll put a link in the description of where I got it and everything. So if you wanna pick one up, you can. This isn't a paid thing or anything. I bought this for full price, but I think some of y'all might be interested in it. So. That's gonna be about it, y'all. Y'all comment, let me know what you think. I'll see y'all in the next one.